we, we mentioned Dan Levy before our live match retiring. Sean O'Brien also calling it a day. Great career. Huge figure in Irish rugby as well, uh, Rob, over the last 10 or 15 years. Like, how good was he at his absolute peak? He, he was incredible at his peak. He was close to close to unplayable. The Tolo tank, as as we all know him, the the impact he had on on big games was extraordinary. And you know, I, I don't think we got to see enough of him at his very best. He, he was Brings quite back, hampered by, by injuries. Brings us back to to some great days. Right. Um, but he he will go down as as one of Leinster and Ireland greats. But properly world class as well, and yeah. in in you know that's an overused term sometimes. But um, at his best, um, he would he would have fitted into any team in the world. I remember the All Blacks in particular on that Lions series. You know they don't always rate the opposition, mm. but they rated Sean O'Brien. Yeah, and you reckon he could he could go into coaching? He could make a good coach if he yeah, decides yeah. that way. Yeah, listen, uh, we're not sure about his future. It's, he's only just a, yeah. announced his retirement, but he he is a guy who would be very capable coach. He's a very good understanding of the game. Uh, he strikes fear into his fellow teammates, yeah. uh, <laughs> particularly some of the younger ones. And he's a guy who who will drive standards and, and help clubs find a winning mentality and, and try and build a little bit of a winning culture into the place. Yeah, he's a man who could... Uh figure in uh, the rugby coaching world over the next uh, few years uh, you would imagine